Hello everyone, in this video I talk about what would have happened if Babel Halo was not in Dreams Minecraft Speedrunner vs 4 Hunters. This got pretty deep and interesting, so would Dream have survived or died? If you like this, check if you're subscribed, it really helps out, and it's free, and I hope you enjoy. Babel Hill tells the hunter team that he found Dream, thus letting them all go after him. This leads to that fairly long chase up the mountain, which made Dream use up half his blocks and health. That leads to Dream being a blockless boy once again and forcing him to spend more time regathering materials and food for health. The chase also leads to Sapped Out and Jordan found dying, with only Babel Hill and Anfrost remaining. Bad says something very important that would have worked. Keep your eyes on him. However, the moment they both took their eyes off of Dream, they were already dead. It's as if Dream is like those horror game statues that move only when you don't look at them. That also asks questions to create plans for the hunters. It's as if he is the strategist and planner of the team, making them meet up or split apart. Who does what and what does who? Where are you guys? Should we group up? Here, let's do that. Oh, we see you guys. Should we get diamonds? Should we just get like full stacks? This is crucial, as without Apple Hill, the team would be disorganized and messy. After that, let's talk about the tower scene. Dream takes a lot of time to get Babu Hill with his fishing rod and bow. In fact, even more time than to get to Amphi. If Babel Halo was me here in this situation, then this would have taken half the time as there will be half the amount of people towering up towards Dream, resulting in him getting the loot on the tower faster without any interruptions and skedaddling out of here while the hunters have less time to act on the yoinking splinking that Dream did with his fishing rod. After the long chase and fight with Jordan Afan and Sapnap, Dream's reward for that perilous and energy draining fight is more running. Babel Hill and Anfrost catch up to the other two almost dead hunters and therefore continue the chase after Dream, even if Jordan and Sapnap are back to square one. This chase, however, leads to Bad and Anfrost dying as well, when Dream's boops their skulls with projectile arrows. If it were not for Bad in this situation, Dream would have still been chased but by only Anfrost. In fact, Dream would have pulled some loop de loops and killed Ant all while next to that bastion, which actually remained unexplored but could have been if Dream killed all four hunters then and there. Cabo Hill also just owns Dream with his comeback. Everything is better. You guys didn't beat me last time. How are you guys gonna come back and get this time? Because... Shut up. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, onto the Frostwalker scene. That is the first to have died from the ice fall damage trap thing that Dream made. This gives Dream double the loot that he gets from this right away. Sapnap also fell and died also. After those deaths, Bat sets his goal straight and elects himself as president of deciding who does what. He tells Sapnap and Jordan Lafont to mine for iron and get XP while he and Ant do the thing. We're gonna do the thing. Okay. The thing. The thing. In fact, the team did quite well in getting to the end portal with Bad's leadership role, as he was very cautious with the whole process, reminding to send spawn, making sure everyone has the proper gear. Then we get to the end where all hell broke loose. People killing people, killing people. This is where things get real different. Thanks to Babu Halo's and Ant Frost plan, the thing, the Ender Dragon got its health restored, making Dream have to do all the chopping and swinging again. The best part is they had multiple of the spiritual healing crystals. Therefore, if Bad was not here, the chance of this happening would have been lower, as Bad was the one leading the whole thing with Anfrost helping along. Ant by himself could have still done this, but the chances of the happening are less than when Bad is here commanding what ideas to specifically do. Overall, Bella Hill played a big role in this video. He not only played as the crucial strategist of the Hunter team, but he and Ant also came up with that the thing plan, which turned the tables and made the Ant dimension scene 20 minutes longer. Simply put, if it were not for Bad, the Hunter team would have been disorganized and the hunt itself would have ended faster. And this video explains how that would have happened.